Hello, welcome inside our ACC Digital Network Studios. Kyle Montgomery here. Glad to be joined by Scott Fowler of the Charlotte Observer and Raleigh News and Observer talking a little ACC hoops on this day. It is rivalry week uh, and you got a chance to talk to first year head men at NC State, Mark Godfrey, not only about North Carolina State's rivalry with North Carolina, but I guess you could say the recruiting rivalry with Duke and North Carolina, kind of the big brothers uh, in the state. Uh, what was that conversation like? It was interesting, Kyle. I, I asked him, look, how are you going to beat Duke and UNC? And he said one word, but he said it three times. Recruit, recruit, <laughs> recruit. Uh, I think that's where he thinks he's got to get some more horses. He says there's a significant gap right now between where Duke and UNC have been in the last 10 sure. years as NC State. You close that gap not just with a good coach, but you close it with players. Well, as you know, they have three McDonald's All-Americans uh, coming in next year. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, the, the horses may be coming. Yeah, feather in his cap. Three McDonald's All-Americans playing in, in the McDonald's All-American game. More than Duke and North Carolina. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> now, now, when you look at, at Mark Godfrey, I think a lot of folks see him as a guy that is a no-nonsense guy. Uh, he's not going to quiver at any other big-name coach kind of across the, the, uh, the, the bench from him. Um, does he remind you of anyone that we've seen before? He does. He reminds me of uh, Rick Barnes really? at Clemson yeah. uh, back when, before he went to Texas, when he was at Clemson and was a young coach and got in Dean Smith's face one time yeah. in a famous game in uh, 1995, nose to nose. And although his record against UNC, Rick Barnes, is really was terrible. Mm -hmm. One and nine, wow. Clemson, not very good at all. Uh, NC State fans don't remember that as much as they remember the stare down. Right. And so that's the kind of guy <laughs> I think that they're looking for. And I think Gottfried has that possibility. Yeah. I think he has that in him. A, a guy that, that could, uh, could mix it up. We, we both know the best right. way to earn loyalty from the fans is winning. But, you know, showing that passion as well is, is also going to win some fans over. Now, football was king at Alabama where Mark Godfrey is coming from clearly. Now he kind of finds himself in, in a similar but, but different shadow, I guess if you will, in the shadow of North Carolina and Duke, uh, a basketball program as opposed to a football program. His experience at Alabama, do you think it helped the transition to what he's dealing with now? I, I think it really did, Kyle, because he's experienced this before mm -hmm. and really almost in a bigger way. I mean, he had Alabama number one in the country in his second year, mm -hmm. and yet all they were talking about is spring football yeah. in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. And that was frustrating to him, sure. I think. Now he understands, hey, we're going to have to beat Duke and UNC, and if we beat them some, then the people are going to talk about us. We've got tradition. Yeah. We've got a fan base that wants to be re-energized, desperately wants to be re-energized. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the, like you say, they got to win some games. They're going to play Duke and UNC in a very short amount of time here mm -hmm. to win. Well, even one out of those two, I think, gets them much closer to their first NCAA tournament bid since 2006. It's a real possibility. There's some greedy Wolfpack fans out there that are saying, we want, we want them both. Ah, <laughs> be happy with one. They, they, yeah. they, I think they'll be happy with the split. All right, uh, Scott Fowler, you can catch, uh, catch him every single week in the Charlotte Observer. Great columns and also as well as the uh, rally news and observe. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thank you, Kyle. All right.